Hi guys, welcome to this video. I'm super excited to be doing this video. I'm gonna be going over my Mulberry Holdall, or can you call it a weekender bag? And I'm gonna be discussing whether the 1200 pound price tag on this bag makes it a worthwhile weekender, a worthwhile uh, holdall to get. Uh, in terms of something that's more premium for your collection. Now, if you're looking for a premium holder or anything that you can use on your weekend travels that is of high quality, then this is the video for you. Keep watching and I'm gonna be going through it shortly. Right guys, welcome back to this video. So I'm gonna be excited to do this video actually because um, I've done this video before. If you guys have been watching, or for those that have been watching this channel uh, since from the beginning, since it was created, I did do this video uh, at, at an early stage. However, there was a big issue with that video. If you did check it out, the quality of the video was really bad. I mean, it was just to the point where the video was not viewable. And I, I did look over it and I was thinking, I mean, what the hell happened there? That looks really bad. It was basically, there was too much light coming through uh, in terms of when I was recording the video and it just wrecked the video altogether. Yeah, if I've got the clip, I might put that up right now so you guys can see it. It was really bad, it was a bad video. Uh, so I essentially took that down and I'm just basically doing this video again. So it's better than that one. Now, what I'm gonna be going over, actually before I do guys, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to this channel. It will greatly support this channel. Hit the like button. And for those that have already subscribed, thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Uh, just to quickly also discuss very, very quickly, uh, I, I had some people ask me to do video vlogs. I would love to do video vlogs. This is something I would look, like to look into. I'm not ignoring you guys. So do not think that. Uh, the issue I'm having is the camera I'm using right now, this specific camera here, is it's just not good enough to, it's not, I'm not, it's good enough, but it's too big. It's, it's too big to carry outside if I wanna do a video vlog, even though it's lockdown in the UK. Uh, this isn't something I wanna be carrying on the road or just generally around the house if I wanna do a video vlog. It's too big, it's just a hassle to carry this. So I wanted to preferably use my phone, so my mobile phone for this, but this phone has a low um, storage capacity. So when I wanna upload a video, do a video, or put it on uh, to edit it, one of the softwares at Adobe, it doesn't allow me to edit it so it's because of the storage issue so I'm, I'm gonna look into getting a new mobile with much bigger storage so I can use it to do video vlogs because I'm not going to be using this camera here it's too big so just to let you guys know I'm not ignoring you and I will be looking into that so getting back into this video so the bag I'm going to be going over is this Mulberry Holdall uh, so yeah, the exact value, I got this as a gift, but the exact value of this bag is £1,250 and the model name is, just to clarify for you guys, is the City Weekender Earth Grey Heavy Grain. I'll bring it up on the screen somewhere. So I'm going to be going over if, if it's a worthwhile investment. Let me just quickly go over how it pretty much looks at the forefront. So it looks like this at the front. Uh, the color is, it says earth gray. Um, looking at it, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It's a, you can call it a gray. It's a kind of different kind of gray. It's really hard to explain, but yeah. And then it has the Mulberry logo there in silver, as you can see. And uh, so look at this from the front. This, it's really heavy, my arms hurt. This is the back. Actually, now that I say that's very heavy and my arm hurt, that's not a good sign when you've got to utilize this bag. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to utilize it due to COVID though, uh, can't travel anywhere. Uh, this is the side here, right? It's obviously kind of um, pushed in against, you know, it's not like structured because I've just basically stored it in the cupboard. So it's not gonna be too uh, presentable to look at because it's quite empty at the moment. This is the side there, 
and uh, this is the back so it's two silver studs right there the bottom here has four studs at the bottom so it kind of provides an uplift when it's sitting on the ground then uh, you've got obviously the two handles here which is made of uh, presumably leather uh, the front zip here which is in a silver color so it's a silver color zip right there at the top oh let's open this up hopefully if, if it can open right um Ooh. okay opened so inside it is a kind of a black canvas material uh, but yeah it seems pretty durable and then it's just one zipper inside it's quite spacious inside you can see again with the the mulberry wait yeah the mulberry kind of logo there yeah and that's pretty much it it's fairly simple i mean you can see that what you're getting is pretty much a simple holder there's nothing fancy you know bells and whistles that would uh make you know it's just a simple holder it's a simple weekender bag um but the the question is is it worth 1250 pounds that's a hefty price tag actually this was given to me as a gift but originally the bag I was looking to get was a Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton holder, holder. I think it was a 45 in terms of size and it you know, had the LV monogram on it. And that was, I think it was, uh, this is 1250, so that was 150 pounds more, maybe 200 pounds, nearly, two, near enough to 200 pounds more than this specific holder here. Um, but I think I was 50-50 about that because I watched a video online, uh, one of the YouTubers had put up online. Uh, I'll put again a picture here. And they were discussing the quality of LV and the reputation behind it. Uh, essentially, when they discussed it, they were, used, they were basically saying that the materials and things used, it doesn't cost them that much, but you can't expect that from most retailers. It's the brand you're essentially paying for, but uh, the material is durable that they provide, but it's nothing special. Uh, it's just they've put a hefty price tag behind a, a long reputation. But the bags I've seen generally, they do wear well. And uh, they haven't, you know, I don't see like much damage to them, even for people that have owned them over five or ten years. Um, but yeah, the, the price tag is something to take in consideration. However, if you do want to sell it afterwards, it holds its value. And just, just you know, in terms of mulberry bags as well, sometimes you can get these on a good deal, a good promotion. So if you do keep an eye out, you can get it for uh, several hundred pounds cheaper during, say, June or the Christmas time. So that's something you need to look into um in terms of how it feels uh this bag feels it feels quite robust i mean in the material i wouldn't say it's like that supple that um like too soft and supple that it is just not going to be able to hold your things well or that you'll question the durability it does feel quite firm in places and the leather does feel good quality at the same time you know that it will hold your things well and last for a long time but that's not really the question is it because you can get bags that are two three hundred pounds again genuine leather even cheaper than that below two hundred pounds that would do the exact same job as this bag and just the same as the LV holder and you know the 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 weekender bag whichever you prefer to call it the question is is that investment worth it is it are they overcharging you for something that you can get comparably on the market much cheaper i would have loved to do a comparison for you guys with something that's much cheaper like say the below 200 rank because i know you can go below 200 and get a genuine leather holder um so for anyone that's watching this say if you sell these kind of products and you want me to do a comparison between the two i would love to do that so do get in contact um, but otherwise in terms of this one let me just tell you the material of this actually I was looking into this a bit because the the, the leather materials obviously the terminologies of it is for full grain and uh, calf leather uh, this specific leather here that's been used is a so it says here heavy grain uh, I'm not speaking properly heavy grain uh, a soft, heavy bovine 
leather with a beautiful soft supple hand feel and i'm not i've never actually come across or heard of the terminology bovine leather um that's something very very much new to me um actually i'm just got distracted guys have you seen this uh just here, this co Colo light, I don't know how to pronounce it, Colo light. Uh, I was looking for something in the RGB lighting thing and I, I came across this one. If you want me to do a review on it, note it below. I would be more than happy to do that. But that's a, it's not too long purchase, like a month or two. Um, but getting back into this. So yeah, it's uh, it's bovine leather, and I, I was thinking I've never heard of this leather. Like I've never heard of it. If you guys are familiar with it, please do let me know a bit about it in terms of its quality. But I went on to Google just so I can find out more information in terms of this leather. And uh, where is it gone? Where is it gone? So this is what I got here. So it says here that it's a leather that's produced from steers. Uh, any leather or any product really that comes from cattle is bovine. And it says here, this is the funny thing, right? Oh, my glass falling off. Any, oh, sorry, about 95% of all leather goods sold in the US are made of bovine leather simply because cattle is more widely bred and easier to acquire. So then my question is, if 95% of bags are made of this specific leather in America, they wouldn't all be selling for this kind of price, like this 1250 price tag that this bag holds. So I'm interested to know what kind of price ranges they are selling for and is is it comparable to the quality of this bag because essentially they're using the same leather so is the difference in finish or um whatever the reason may be enough to warrant a huge price difference in this one and maybe those because if 95 percent of the bags in the us are made of bovine leather they're not going to be the same price as this they're going to be you know there's going to be comparable price differences i am actually going to look into this a little bit more because I was actually very interested um, in terms of this. I'm just thinking, is Mulberry just basically using a leather that's already very, really highly utilised and slapping a massive price tag on there? You know, then it's not a really worthwhile investment. So that's why I'm questioning whether this is a worthwhile investment. Other than that, if I'm just questioning what, on the basis of how this bag feels and how I personally, what I personally think of it, I think it's fantastic. It looks great. It, it the, the finish is beautiful. The color is beautiful. The way it's made is beautiful. Um, how it holds things. I know it's going to be holding them well. It's durable. It's robust. So, you know, overall, I think it's good. But the twelve fifty price tag from my thinking is too very high. It's too high for what I'm getting and the specific type of leather I'm getting. Um, so I would like your guys' views on it. I'm actually very interested because from my perspective, I do not think this is worth 1200, 1,250 pounds. I think that, you know, it's worth say four or 500 pounds less than that. Um, but then I can say the same about Louis Vuitton, um, but obviously because their reputation is just pretty much out, you know, up there. It's really at the top. You know, they can slap whatever price tag they want. And the other thing is they don't have any outlets. So, you know, if you buy something, it's, it's gonna hold pretty much close enough to its value. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much my view on this. I've tried to keep this short because, you know, I don't wanna keep it too lengthy that you guys get put off. But I'm actually very interested in your guys' opinion. I did actually go on Google and try to search this specific type of bag like bovine leather holder or maybe typing it wrong guys so i've typed bovine leather holder uh, and then i'm getting aspinel of london up uh actually while i'm here let me just quickly check this so aspinel of london doesn't actually say the material for this specific brand of bag so it says a carve leather so I'm not too familiar with the how comparable this is to carve leather. It's obviously going to be a little bit different. Uh, let me just quickly check one more while I've got you here. 
Uh, so I've got another company here, Luco. It's not an English company, it seems Italian. Uh, da, 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 vegetable tanned full grain leather. So it says full grain leather. And then this one here is... So it's, it, this is heavy grain, so I'm not too familiar with that terminology for the mulberry. I mean, it's, I just whacked myself on the face. <laughs> not myself on video. But yeah, this video, it says, uh, this bag is heavy grain heavy grain so and I'm seeing terminology heavy grain and then I'm seeing terminology full grain again for those guys that know more information about this please do let me know but yeah uh, in terms of the the title of this video in terms of whether this is worth it like I said I don't think it's worth 1250 but I don't think the LV is worth what it is as well you're just paying for the name um but yeah that's my overall experience uh, let me just quickly show you the guys the the dust bag as well oh, oh. Wait. Show you guys the dust bag. So the dust bag is extremely big. Um, that's that's the logo on it. It's kind of a canvas material. So yeah, that was pretty much my viewpoint on it. And like I said before, if you guys are interested in me doing the review for this. Uh, this here, this, if I pick it up without it breaking, actually it's gonna fall apart. This uh, Colo Light um, RGB, uh, how do you say it? Light, I don't know how to say it. If you want me to do a review on that, I'd be more than happy to do that. Guys, if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. I will be doing another video this week, so do keep tuned. Do leave comments, do hit the like button, do subscribe, do all of that. That will support me, and I'll be seeing you guys very shortly in the next video. Take care, guys. I'll see you soon.